Oh my god. What's going on YouTube? So welcome back to another video. Today dad and I have pretty much one project that we want to do today and that is to tunnel underneath this um, concrete walkway leading into the house because we're going to put a, um, a half bathroom right here behind this wall. So um, come with me and I'll, I'll show you real quick what the, what the project is going to look like. We have our hole dug here. Um, it's plenty deep and we are going to be boring a hole under the concrete patio like I had mentioned earlier and uh, we don't we don't really know what to expect so uh, we're gonna get right to it and we're gonna take you guys along any trouble we have you guys are gonna see and um, hopefully we can uh, share some tricks and tips along the way So dad's going to explain the angles that we've got laid out and kind of the overview plan for what's going on here. All right, so when I, when I have a subcontractor come on site, I don't want to pay a, pay a plumber to cut concrete and to dig. We can do that. So when he gets here, all he has to do is run pipe. We want to think ahead and make it easy for him as best we can. We couldn't come 90 degrees off the building because we'd be under, we'd be under all this concrete. And then this line represents 45 degrees off the building, but that's too long to bore, to tone. So we're gonna go here at 22 and a half. So then the plumber should be able to easily tie into our main sewer with some common fittings and not have to get real creative on us. Sure. And the other thing we did, we measured the invert of our sewer line. So the invert is the bottom of the pipe. I was able to get the tape measure down to the bottom of the pipe. Our invert here is 48 and a half inches. And then just to make sure we were deep enough inside, we swung the laser around and we're at 48 inches deep to the bottom of the hole. So pl plenty of depth because uh, in about five, in about 20, 20 feet of run of pipe, we'll have about five inches of rise. Sure. Sewer line uh, drops quarter inch per foot. Okay. So we're gonna remove that side and uh, start digging. Okay, let's get to it. All right, we dug the hole. It wasn't too bad, pretty sandy soil, we got lucky. So hopefully that luck stays with us. Our next step, we're gonna dig a deeper pit right here and start to tunnel. We need the pit because we're tunneling with a piece of pipe with a nozzle on it and the backwash is gonna fill up that pit with water and we'll be able to dump it out. We got dad over here, he's about to fit the pipes. What are we doing over here, dad? We're gonna put a a nozzle on one end of this three-quarter pipe okay. and adapt the garden hose to the other Okay. with a valve so we can have control of the water here. Sure. And we're going to give it a test. Yep. I'm going to have to be super tight here. For the pipe, but we're going to do it right. Okay, just get all right, so dad's got his bazooka, I mean, he's got the, the hose hooked up to the nozzle, to the pipe, and uh, he's gonna let it rip. Nice. And that's gonna be our uh, boring device. All right, 
And I'm gonna let Jordan do it so he gets wet. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little fire over there. A what? Oh, a fire, yeah. Wow. Well, we can we can put it out. We can go help him. Yeah, this this will probably reach from here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and what's this for, Dad? It's a splash shield. Splash shield. Okay. And it's gonna keep me dry. All right. That's the plan. Okay, so we've got the nozzle lined up with our, our line. There's the main pipe right there. And we've got it on line with where we wanna go. Dad's just testing it, and we're gonna let it rip here. Oh. And that was slow. All right, you can open it up more. Okay. And more gas. Yep. Yeah. It's going through easy, like butter. Jeez, oh my gosh! It's full blast. Woo! <laughs> wow. Did not expect it to be that easy. <laughs> now we just got to get it to get Make it big. larger. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, bud. Oh. Nice, let it drain. We could either put the other piece of pipe on there and punch all the way through and yep. have a nice yeah. channel for it to go through. Uh-huh. Or we could, uh, let's do that. Okay, you want to put the three-inch pipe on there? Yeah, no, I mean the other length. Oh, okay. And then we'll punch through in the bathroom. Okay, sure. Okay, it's right there. So problem number one is that um, when we came all the way underneath the concrete and got down into here, we started hitting concrete. Oh! And so now dad's trying to dig out, trying to get underneath the concrete to see if he can, uh, to see if he can maybe feel some wet dirt. Maybe, maybe we're closer than we think and maybe we can get our bearings by getting a little more underneath the foundation. That's what he's doing. So the angle of the hole that we made is, is wrong, I think, and that's why we're hitting the concrete. So we're just gonna pull the entire pipe out and go uh, more right. So we're gonna cut right with the pipe and um, see if we uh, see if we can make a bigger and better hole. That way we don't hit the foundation and have a little more wiggle, uh, little more wiggle room inside the hole to work with. We think we're almost through. We changed the angle, rerouted it. I can hear it, it's right there. I'm just waiting for a gush of water to come through. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on video, but I can hear it. Is he going? I think. Okay. I'm definitely. Sure. See, the only, the only thing holding that up is yeah, because it's wedged in the concrete. Yes, sir. Just for some motivation, I, the hose is definitely it's you're in the house, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you're right there. How do you know? Because I can hear it. 
It's a couple more inches. Oh, so close. We're gonna remove some of this water, and we'll uh, get back to you guys when the uh, when the water's removed. Cleaned out a little bit, so Dad has a little more room to work, so it's not as flooded. We got a little bit more uh, water draining out right there. You can see, um, and um, I'm gonna go back in here, and we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this thing. Okay, go for it, Dad. Oh man, it's right there, guys. I can hear it. Oh yeah. Okay, now you're hitting something. Oh, right here! Woo! Woo, yeah! Oh, man. Yeah! <laughs> nice, bud. Good job. That's crazy right there. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Almost had us. Almost. But we persisted. They, they almost had us in the first half, but... Jordan made me not give up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I kept telling Dad, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. And Dad was like, I don't know. That concrete's there. It's like, it's okay. So for the next step, we got to get this 10-foot, 3-inch pipe inside of this channel. And um, we don't have enough clearance here for 10 feet. So we got to dig about a foot back so we can lay that 3-inch pipe in the channel. So we're going to get that dug real quick. And then we'll explain to you guys how we're going to get that pipe in that channel. Uh, so we got the hole extended back about a foot and a half, maybe a foot. Um, and the reason we had to extend it back again was to lay this three inch pipe that we're going to use for the drainage for the toilet, right? Right. So now what we have done is we have taken our pipe that's shooting the water, the black pipe, you can see it. It's inside of the three inch pipe. So we're going to turn the water on and so as the water is shooting, into the hole, we're gonna be using the three inch pipe as a, um, I don't know, we're just gonna be using it to clear the dirt for the necessary diameter. It's all gonna flush out and the, the PVC pipe. Yeah, and the dirt and everything is just gonna flush out on this end, hopefully, and if it doesn't, we can just pull the pipe out, clean it manually, and keep going until we break through. So that's the plan, huh? Yeah, it's a mini tunnel boring machine. Yeah, and we're <laughs> gonna use that sledgehammer to kind of knock it. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get to it. Nice. Because he can't hit underneath the water with the sledge, so he got the crowbar. And now it's moving. Because the water's coming out. Yeah, we know we have fall. The water's draining out the back oh, end. Oh, look at that. Yep. Mm. There you go. Back to the trusty sledge. Yup. Yep. All right, so we hit a little bit of a, a wall, literally. So same problem that we had earlier with the pipe, the black pipe, now we're having with the white pipe. So we uh, pulled it out and we're gonna clean the inside of the pipe. Uh, and then we're just gonna kind of clean up the area so we have a a clean space to work so we can see what we're doing. The water's draining out of that hole down there. And uh, this, this hole was almost full when we were going, so we're letting it drain out. Yeah, we're about a foot away. Yeah, we're, we, yeah, we're, we're right there. Here's a nice core sample. Okay. You can see where the, the pipe pushing out the middle and then the PVC pipe is just pushing right through the clay. Yeah. Pretty cool. That is cool. Dad's over there getting ready to cut the pipe. And the reason that we have to cut the pipe is because we got all the way to here and the three inch pipe is stopping right about here at the wall. So we got about another foot to go. Um, but the problem is, is that the skinny black pipe that our hose is connected to is able to clear that. However, if you add a three inch pipe into the equation, it is unable to clear the concrete because it's hitting the top of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take this three inch pipe and we're gonna, what do we do? We're gonna cut the top off? Yeah, we're basically gonna cut either, either half a wedge or a step so it'll clear the footing 
and push itself through. We, sure. We're making sure we have proper slope on the pipe. Always. But we've come this far, so that's our only option to try to get it past the footing. So we're gonna do it, recheck our slope, make sure we got proper fall. Yep, okay, let's cut it, see if this works. Keep the orient the pipe oriented this way. This label will be a reference for the top of the pipe as it goes in the hole. Yeah, good thinking. I think this will work. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Dad and I have uh, we've been at this for hours um, since the last clip you guys saw, and it's pretty much just been readjusting. It's been the same process, but over and over and over again until we get it right. So it's essentially just been angle adjusting, a little bit of shimming to get the pipe to dig into the, the dirt and the clay properly so we can break through. We're trying to make enough space for clearance. Can you feel it, Dad? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. But we've got a good feeling like we're about to break through. So we're going to keep you guys updated, but we feel like this is it. So. Fingers crossed, almost lost the throw one. Fingers crossed. Don't fall. Broke it. Yep. Oh my God, don't get stuck. All right, so we had to bring in the vehicle because we need to take the pipe out because it's cracking and we want to analyze what's going on with the other side of the pipe. So we're on the one yard line, but we just can't get it through and we can't figure out what's going on. We've done everything. So we're just gonna take it out and see what's going on. You gonna try and go straight out? Okay. Okay, there we go, we're out. Oh my gosh, look at all that clay build up. Yeah, I'm thinking that might've been the problem or one of them. We're gonna see how chewed up that end is when dad gets over here. All right guys, so dad and I have been working nonstop all day long. We had a couple of breaks here and there, but unfortunately we were not able to get the three inch pipe under the, uh, under the concrete and clear the foundation. We're not giving up just yet though, so we're gonna go uh, get a new piece of pipe. That way we have a fresh start tomorrow and um, we'll see you guys then.